What's going on guys? Johnny with Blades of Grass Lawn Care. Today we are going to the Toro dealer to pick up a mower. This is going to be my primary mower for the small backyards because the uh, Xmark Vantage 36, I've been using it for a while. Matter of fact, probably about 11, 11 to 12 years. And it's time for it to be a secondary mower, a backup mower. And if you are financially able to have a backup mower, guys, I would highly, highly recommend it. Because again, with the way things are right now, uh, parts are taking longer to come in and equipment is taking longer to be repaired. And you know, your equipment is your bread and butter. So guys, let me tell you, if again, save your money, if you can get you a secondary piece of equipment that will assist you or hold you over if something happens to your primary uh, mower, okay? So let's head out there and get on more. All right, here we are guys. We're at the lawnmower store in Savannah, Skidaway. And here it is. And there's a new addition sitting right out here. Let's go inside. Good morning. How are you? Good. I'm here to pick up the. Uh... Okay. Cool. Cool. And this is the lawnmower store in Skidaway. And they service and sell steel equipment. And of course, Toro equipment. And this is where we got our Z Master 4000 about a year and a half to two years ago and zero issues. So that's pretty cool. And over here you have the steel battery powered mowers and the 21 inch mowers and the battery. That's the one with that I have right there. So yeah. You need help with the oil palette? I'm just trying to make room for everything right now and then you stuff the oil here. Now of course you have the 30 inch Turf Master HDX. Alright, so let's go talk about the lawnmower real quick while we're here. This is going to be the primary mower for the small for the small backyards. And of course we're gonna get a green guard shoot blocker for here. And it comes with a uh, Kawasaki FS541V engine. And I'm guessing it's about what 15, 16 horsepower. But again, we'll uh, we'll check into it. And it is a small compact unit. And of course, you have the, the lever. And you can go from all the way from 1.25 inches to 5 inches nice beefy tires so you don't rut and yeah that's about it it's simple uh simple machine and of course you know your pto switch your levers your choke and zero hours so yeah all right How are you? Good, how are you? Good, man, good, good. Be ready to go. Okay, now are these pneumatic tires or they're uh, no run flats. flats? Run flats? Okay, awesome, yep. awesome. Yeah, 
that anytime you see like this grid pattern on here, of course no valve stem, but anytime uh -huh. you see that grid pattern, that always means it's a solid, solid tire. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and open this up. This is the other truck. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to start up or are you gonna? Okay. Okay. These Kawasaki's are easy. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I will say one thing, you may want to point it out in the video or whatever, but you know, they've tried different braking systems and made them so complicated a lot of the riders are almost mm. like disc brakes and the grass and the weeds just pack up in there and then the disc won't operate and then it breaks the cables okay kind of gone back to this just a bar that just clamps into the tire okay good 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 you just, know what i mean it's like take yeah. the complicated stuff out and they've just gone back it's just a direct connection and correct clamp it into the tire makes sense and then makes you sense. don't have all that grass and everything getting in those brakes and they're mm. messing them up so I don't know how you would address that since Toro makes the other one too, but you know, just Correct. maybe a simplified yeah. way to do it. And the, yeah, the other one, I have um, I have the uh, X Mark, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the 36 as well. This is a 36, correct? Yes. Yes, and the, uh, the, the, the 36 is the same type of brake, and I, and I love it. Right. The Vantage Simple. also have it. But then the new uh, motor that they make doesn't have that system. And people have been complaining that you know it's, it's yeah it's giving them a lot of issues well it's just you can't clean out those brake discs that are inside the wheel without taking the wheel off correct and then it just cut it gets all the grass and weeds and everything in there mm -hmm. and then it's a cable system so you have all this leverage from this brake and when you go yeah. to pull it something's got to give and it's correct be the cable it's gonna okay snap the cable. And then they don't have any brakes and it rolls around the trailer and smashes it gotcha <laughs> so all right add up and load it on there this is all yeah your Okay. Then, um, I mean, I can load it up or you want to load it up? I'll let you load it up. Okay. You're more gotcha. I'll show you how I, I do it anyway. So, in break down. Okay. No, it, it is very easy. And it's as you can tell. Than the ramps and all that other stuff. They yeah. There and they fall off. Yeah. So I put the. Uh, yeah. It's got a bracket there that reinforces it. Correct. And I put okay. the uh, the grip tape. This okay. way, you know, you won't slide like in the mornings when it's wet or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, you at least it has a grip to it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, all you do is bring it up. And if you're in a location where, you know, I mean, people will ride it off or whatever, you can always put a chain mm -hmm. and a lock. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. That thank you very fun. much. All right. Thank you. Enjoy. I'll look out for the videos. Okay. Thank you. Alright guys, so we got us a uh, primary mower and basically the uh, X mark is going to be a backup because again I've had it for 10 years, 10, 11 years. So this is going to be my primary mower for uh, my small backyards and I'm going to utilize the uh, X mark for my, uh, as my backup because again I've had it for such a long time that you know we need to uh, kind of have her or him have their time, right? All right, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, guys. Have a blessed one. Appreciate you. See you on the next one. Pop smoke. Peace.